Hey everybody, today we are going to talk about essential grip tools to build the raw grip strength and thank you so much for supporting the channel with a super thanks and buy me a coffee option. So literally last month you bought me a plane ticket to New York so I had an opportunity to make a video for you with a grip expert and enthusiast Lucio Batista. Hope you're gonna like it, enjoy! Most of the times before we even get involved with like really heavy intensive grip stuff, we don't want to injure our fingers. We definitely don't want to injure anything with our forearms or our biceps. Very important that we get a thorough warm up in and we want to work on all those different things. Just, you know, low light weights, just really dialing in those, your tendons, your ligaments, everything in there. We don't want to get anything injured. So basically we're going to start with this one. So this is a really good tool for working on pin strength to warm up. Um, but also if you want to build strength, of course, if you add more weights to it, so this one just functions. It's really good for working up the thumb, especially for your crush grip. Weights will go on this end here and just really working on loading that as you pull through. This tool is designed by Arm Assassin Strength Shop. They supply a lot of important grip tools. So like everything on their website is like incredible for grip strength. So we'll get this roll in here with some, uh, some weights here so we can actually warm up. Just five pounds here to start out. Nothing crazy. Just wanna do at least like a couple sets on each hand. You don't want to go too heavy. It's just a warm up. Yeah, and there are so many aspects of the grip strength, like pinch, fingers. I heard you mention the crushing grip. What's that mean? So crush grip is, especially in Ninja Warrior training, is very essential because we encounter a lot of nunchucks and things that are vertical grip and being able to actually like squeeze and hammer down on that it, especially in contact strength when you're flying through the air and you have to catch something really fast crush strength is super essential being able to just really get that thing without slipping off in middle of the air how many says how many reps the so annoying question yeah of course so typically for a warm-up i would suggest maybe just doing like 10 reps maybe four sets and that should be good for warming up those hands nicely can i do like this and and work two two hands this yeah time? definitely you can also use two hands double it up I like that it involves whole range of motion because usually when I do pinches, yeah, I use like the 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 plates or like a cubes. So you kind of squeeze from here and you try to squeeze, and here you actually go through your range of motion. And it's such a common feeling for me. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, range of motion is definitely super important. And I think this is the first exercise that actually is I laid my thumb. Do you think uh -huh. maybe doing this, if you were doing this more regularly, you'd be able to get better crushed grip? Yeah, because I broke my both thumbs recently. Not recently, like in the last, I would say, three years. Yeah, same with me from being, my background uh, in hockey, it's very common to have some broken fingers and yeah. other other parts of the body, so. I like it. I like this one very much. Very isolated thumb exercise. Devon Larratt, I'm coming for you. Do you think, do you think Devin <laughs> should get one of these machines? Do you think it would help for his uh, training for arm wrestling? I'm pretty sure he has one. Yeah. I'm pretty, Devon is, uh, yeah, it's a different breed. He he knows everything. And if he doesn't have one of these machines, I think cool. I think he yeah. needs to get one. I'm going to send this clip to him. Look at the vascularity right now. That. Oh my goodness. Coming for you, Devin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, don't be so hard because <laughs> we might get in trouble for that. <laughs> for overall importance in, in grip strength, this tool would probably be a 4.5 out of 5 mm -hmm. because it is one of the one of the few tools I found that, like you had mentioned earlier, isolates the thumb. And if you're working that crush grip, the thumb is really super important. And as well as like like it's great for warm up, full range of motion as we talked about, but as well as just bang for your buck. Like all around, it's a great tool. So I give it a 4.5 out of five. Yeah, you're not selling these ones too. No, this I'm not selling, but um, my company does partner with the with this company, Arm Assassin Strength Shop. So I do a lot of combination products with them for Ninja Warrior as well. Mm -hmm. So I do highly recommend checking out their site as well. Okay. Another important thing, we, we really want to warm up our fingers. That's the key here. We don't want to have any ruptured pulleys, any ligament issues. Um, and a lot of grip, we're squeezing 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 so it's very important that we work on the opposing force which is extensors right when we're warming up for our grip strength we want to make sure we warm up our extensors so any type of extensor bands it doesn't have to be anything fancy just anything that you're able to open and close just really working on those extensors and just warming up those fingers full range and again like you know 10 to 15 reps four sets both hands just making sure that you're getting through that full range 
and that's it. And you might want to have a couple pairs on hand because the stronger you get and the more you use these things, they're just rubber bands essentially and they will snap. And a lot of the companies that sell them, you can buy them in packs. Like they have different levels of difficulty, thicker bands. So I definitely suggest adding these to your warm-up regimen. Yeah, I had the Grip Genie extensor band set. Unfortunately, I lost them. I actually have a code that you can use to have a discount. So yeah, everything in description. Very essential tool. It should be for your ninja workouts, before your regular workouts, anything you climbing. need to. Climbing, of course. How could I forget climbing? <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's a must have. It's a sure. mu this is an absolute must have, especially for the value. Like you you can't skimp. They're they're very in, like inexpensive. They're light. They can put them in your pocket. I mean, this is, this is a five out of five. Five out of five. Yeah, so once we're warm, we're gonna decide on some days, it's just like anything else you're doing. Like if it's like, you know, you're gonna do a bicep day, you're gonna do a leg day, a back day. You kind of want to spread out your grip the same way. Like we don't want to try to train every portion of grip in the same day because it's it's max effort when you're going for these movements. So we're gonna try to get to a PR and try to max load and then go for that. So there's gonna be a lot of different disciplines. So continuing in the same frame with um, spinning handles, mm -hmm. we have the, um, the rolling thunder. This is a very common tool um, we've seen across arm lifting for years now. This model here, the Grip Genie one, an excellent one. I like this one a lot because it has such a good free spinning bearing on it and it doesn't really, it, it doesn't hold back. Some of the Rolling Thunders, you can get some friction on them and you could get extra extra weight. The Grip Genie one does not play around. Have you used this one before, Anton? Yeah, I got my Christmas present. You just sent me two of those. Ooh, yes. Yeah. So you know that this tool is not playing around. In uh, arm lifting sport, I believe, Iron Mind is the company that you ha must to use before uh, every competition. Correct. So uh, the Iron Mind is like, that's like the OG, like the original gangsta of grip sports, so to speak. So they, they're like one of the original people who started a lot of these grip um, challenges. The actual Iron Mind uh, Rolling Thunder, if we're talking about like in a competition, they might say we're using the Iron Mind. Uh, rolling thunder over time though what i have noticed is like with that one in specific and from what i've heard about other people who do grip sport is that one does allow you to get a little bit of friction off of it so if it's not like completely new one then it will eventually wear down and break down it is key to try to, to have different companies so you can vary your training and understanding of grip products yeah we're not trash talking or whatever yeah no we're, absolutely i'm just being 100 percent honest I, I see you have two of those yeah so this one was a um a custom-made one this one was made again from arm assassin strength shop has a little pin on the side this one i can load like any of the larger attachments so that's why this one was a custom-made one so that oh, I can so get, you can change it. Right? Yeah, so I can change out all of these individual pieces and put on whatever I want to test myself on a higher level caliber. So not only can we change the weight on the load pin, I could change the actual handle here as well. Cool. So this one's a one inch handle right now. One inch and the judges? One inch. How is one inch? It's like fucking two inches. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe this one. Oh, this you're right. I lied. It's because I have such big hands. I lose I lose track of what <laughs> what reality is in a, in the size of. Uh, That's crazy. Yeah. So so sorry. This is the one inch handle. Yes, it's two 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 and a half inches. Yes. Right, so it's 2. a six, 60 millimeters. Yeah. My hands just playing tricks on me here. <laughs> it's actually slightly smaller. It's hard to see because we can't go directly on center. Mm -hmm, yeah. But it's probably a tiny bit smaller. Oh, what about this war champ? All right, so this one this here. This is you made for sure. This is from Stronghold. It's a Ninja Warrior company. They make a lot of excellent products. And they did this awesome detail work for me on this hold. And this is called the Big G. And this is just a massive wooden nunchuck. So it's really a fun challenge. Wait um, a second. Why it says World Champ? Are you World Champ? So I indeed am. I'm the current reigning world freestyle mustache champion. <laughs> So that's cool. Yeah, absolutely. I just took a passage. I don't know how to say congrats. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a very unique uh, hobby. Hobby, I'd say, and uh, I mean for me, it's more than a hobby because it's a lifestyle. I have to live with this thing on my upper lip all mm -hmm. the time. I've won numerous titles aside from world champion, national champion, North American champion. And of course, it's part of my persona for American Ninja Warrior where I'm the mustache ninja. So yeah. we need to talk about this real quick before we even move on. This is a 10 out of five in, in importance for grip sport. If you don't have one of these, we're not getting anything off the ground. And this one again, Grip Genie provides, a, look at how beautiful this. It's like a work of art, immensely important for grip sport and arm lifting. So we're gonna attach our rolling thunder here. We're gonna get some weights going. Um, so what do you think is a good way for us to start out with Anton? Uh, I think 45 pounder. 45 right off the gat. Yeah. Cake. Nice. 
I believe I maxed out on the Grip Genie Roll of Honor was like 110 or 115, something oh, like this. Oh, that's good. It wasn't something crazy. All right, still with no chalk, so this is this is pretty good. We haven't even gotten into chalk territory. Nice. I'll do one more. One more. Show him it wasn't fake. Yes. That looks smooth. Uh, are we filming static yet? Just because I believe I can lift it. Let's get it, come on. Nice. Uh, yeah. Easily. Uh, that's it, you see? So the left, you're maxed out. Yeah. Yeah. Since that injury, I lost so much strength on my left. We put on the other. Yeah, nope. Look like and see that's the thing with grip sport. Yeah, five pounds. Five pounds is all the difference. It literally can make. And it feels like it's it's stick to the floor. Oh, yeah. if you change the implement. Yeah, if a couple couple millimeters on the in the hand size. Oh wow! Like nothing. Yes, but that's the, so interesting. They're like couple millimeters difference, and maybe like a spinning quality. Yeah. No, that spins pretty legit too. Yeah. But the Grip Genie is legit. It's really spinny. Yeah. Yes, perfect. You gave me a little bit of, a little extra chalk. Like nothing. I heard the crack. Was it your knees? Yeah, it was my knees. <laughs> That's funny. We uh, we warmed up our fingers, not our knees. Come on. Yep, clean. All right. Like, obviously, we're, we're focusing. Most of the attention is, if you have the grip, you can hold on. But it's still using a lot of those recruited muscles through the forearm, up through the bicep, all the way up into your back. All that weight has to shift up through your legs and then pull all the way up through. Okay. I saw it means that you yeah. tried already. Like yeah. one of my favorite like climbers of all time, Adam Andra, <laughs> he does like a very famous like yell. And like, when we go like max effort, for me, it, it like a mental thing too. And like the release, so. Okay, 175 plus spin. Oh, okay. Was it lift? If I'm doing a lift, like I'm going to think about it like I'm doing a deadlift. Like I want to be able to lock off, mm -hmm. almost be able to smile mm -hmm. for a second and then be able to put down. Like mm -hmm. if I'm like still fighting it before I have to drop it, that doesn't feel like a mm -hmm. clean lift to me. So like that yeah. to me, I'm going to have to get one more go. I think on the competition you have uh, as much as many attempt you want, but you have only one minute. Correct. Within a time frame. Yeah, 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 exactly. So how do you train this lift? This is obviously important lift, right? Yeah, this is one that would like, if you're doing like arm lifting, like actually in a competition setting, this would be something that does frequently occur as a comp uh, competition sanctioned event really it's just like any other thing like you got to put in the work for me like i wouldn't be going for my pr all the time there's not a such a strict program like a uh, weightlifters or uh, like a powerlifters you know five sets of five or like i mean 12 you, sets i would say you can definitely implement a strategy like that to make sure that you're getting like a full well-rounded uh exercise program for growth but let's say like down the road if i was doing this like long term as my dedicated sport, I would definitely implement a strategy. Whereas like Mondays, I'm doing this many sets, this many reps of the Rolling Thunder, and on this day, I'm doing you know that way. I'm making sure I'm maximizing those efforts into those different areas mm -hmm. of grip. Like having a program is the easy way to follow the progression. Exactly. Yeah. Like I'm about like 195 pounds, sometimes 200 pounds, depending on the day. And when you're just hanging on to that much raw weight, you have you have no choice but to have good grip strength. Yeah. Because yeah. otherwise, you're gonna peel off. And also play a hockey professional, right? Yeah. I can see a lot of hockey stuff. Yeah, and it's just like part of the family. My father, this is actually my father's mask. Mm -hmm. um, and you can see like this is over here, like his, this is back when he used to play. So like his, that's his blocker and his mask. And um, that looks like from the, from the uh, thriller movies or something. Yeah, right. right? Like <laughs> from like a, from the you know, Halloween, a lot of times with hockey, like being able to like, you have to squeeze the, the stick and be able to have the power to generate to like have a slap shot or a wrist yeah. shot a lot of that's coming from pronation yeah or, hockey is a cool sport i yeah. like it it's definitely high intensity so but i okay. think we got enough rest let's see yeah, if yeah. i could get this pr so you're gonna make me go for all the weight in the room so it's 180 pounds without uh, the pin so it's probably 186 and again let's just show like this is this is not holding back like that thing just spins on its yeah, own it's like, like so you, you're fighting that the entire time yeah, don't get hurt. Oh, it budged a little bit, but I think that's the 
that's the max we're going for right now. That's okay. it. Can you imagine? I was sandbagging you. I can easily. It was the plan all the time. And Anton, this whole time has been sandbagging me. It would be shocking, right? I I would literally be like floored right now. You ready? I'm ready for this. No, I wasn't laughing. <laughs> I would, I would be, I would be absolutely beyond impressed if that came off the ground. Uh, no, no, no. But we have. Oh, wait a second. Do you yes. want to try the do the smaller? Oh, you're right. Maybe I should try the the other uh, handle from Arm Assassin. You know, it's also a little difference is that the the Grip Genie handle is made out of like a. Um, is it plastic? Like something? a plastic. Yeah. Like a rubber plastic. Whereas this one here is just raw metal mm -hmm. so that is also a little different so that's why it's important to train on different variety of of implements my fingers can basically touch so that that couple millimeters definitely might help me here oh yeah that's such a big difference oh right? my goodness <laughs> <laughs> that was astronomical my hand here is basically overlapping but this like five millimeters and this one is like just touching so that little bit of difference but again I'm almost touching too. <laughs> we look at the spin there. Oh, I got chalk in my eye. Um, we look now at you this, can lift with your eye. We look at the spin difference, right? Like there's a little bit of, of hesitation here. Like that's why I talked about earlier with the friction. It's great to train on different implements because we don't know necessarily what we're going to encounter when we're out there on, whether it's an Ninja Warrior course, whether you're climbing, whether you're doing arm lifting, so it's good to have a variety of tools that function differently. You just should have a variety of ways to train. That's it. I know you already took out the next apparatus, but yes. this is must have. I'd say this is definitely a 4.5 out of five on your must haves. Oh, wait a second, why not a five? I, I don't want to give everything a five, but mm -hmm. I think it's definitely high on the scale of, of what we would need. So definite must have. Form grower is where you're going to put in that, that actual workout load time under tension just making sure we're going through the motions as we're pulling the weight up and building that forearm and i personally also like to work the negative mm -hmm. i think equally as important to let it go down equally as slow so this yeah. one this one in my opinion anton five out of five really everybody should have a and you don't have to necessarily have like one that's made by a specific company you could have a broomstick with a piece of rope attached to it. Yeah. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It, you know what I use? I'm sorry for interrupting yes. you. I use the side of the uh, of the barbell. It was just resting on the rack. Yeah. And you just like put just, some rubber band or whatever. This is one of the most important tools for building forearm and grip strength. So definitely five out of five on this one here. Grippers are, they're kind of a niche thing, but they do work on your crush grip. And let's say I'm doing bar like barbell curls or, you know, on a, on a rack with some cables, put a pin in and not have any idea what I'm lifting. Mm -hmm. Because if you didn't know that they scaled and got bigger and you're just like, oh, I'm just gonna go lift this. You have no way of knowing like where you're at and like where you're working towards. So it's very essential that you know how heavy your, your actual grippers are. No matter what company of gripper I use, I send them all out to Canon Powerworks and they send, they actually rate the grippers and tell me how, um, how much power you require to do that gripper. So now I know with my grippers, like, okay, today I want to start at 120 pounds. We're going to go through, we're going to go for our gripper. We're going to close our gripper. Did you actually close it? That one? No, I didn't fully go. Hmm. I mean. Now you have to, you choose. Oh, GG. Yeah. They kind of get up there and like in craziness, like this one's a 262 pound gripper. There's literally no chance right now. Like my personal record on grippers is 149 pounds, um, which is actually this exact gripper here. When we're talking about just pure crush strength, mm -hmm. definitely five out of five. There's so many different companies out there. It's crazy. Again, like Grip Genie offers great products. There's Canon Powerworks. There's um, Gillingham Pro, Gripzilla. There's so many like amazing gripper products. And of course, we can't forget about Iron Mind, that what's called the Captains of Crush certification challenges and going through the ranks. Yeah. And this is a very niche specific thing. So if I'm giving these a rating out of five, I would say in the level of importance, I would say it's probably a three out of five. This is kind of its own world. If you're really good in this, it's almost a specific skill set. Because I believe I own only one. 
Yeah. And just because Juju just toss it to me and say, hey, you can keep it. I also like to collect them. So to me, it's kind of like a fun thing to like have them and like work on them. And like I said, my personal record now after a few years is up to 149. I, I do work on negative sets with some of the higher level grippers. I like to own them. It's fun to like look at the ones that are dust collectors that are 200 pounds and you never know one, maybe one day, maybe one day. <laughs> this grip lock as well. I would say this object right here is definitely high on the scale. So again, 4.5 out of five. This is like that fat pinch strength, um, three inch pinch block. So very important to build that strength. And this is a part of the arm lifting sport too, right? Yes, three inch pinch block. This is also another Grip Genie product. Ooh, looks like someone sponsored that video. Yes, right? I know, right? But in the future, if Grip Genie ever wants to sponsor a video, you know, you know where to find us. Yeah, I got a lot of free stuff though. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think, um, I think I, Paid for most of my stuff. <laughs> yeah. Clean. You see how, how sweat my my fingers are? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm I'm sweating. That's why I, I'm 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 a chalk abuser. I, I have really dry hands, so luckily for me that doesn't that doesn't happen very easily for me. So. No, I'm leaking like a. Yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna make the lift harder for me, maybe. Oh, have to, yeah. I, we're gonna have to chalk it up in between yep. the shoes. Yep. My my hand's so big it almost goes under the bottom of the of the block. Is it legal? I, if you go like this, no. So I have to almost like you can see how big my hand is that it almost goes the whole distance of the block. Nice. <laughs> what do you? What is your max? Do you know? I never max out on this because I don't have a pinch okay. block. Okay. So we'll just have to try it and see where you get to. Yeah. Because I don't have a pinch block. Yeah. I usually train my pinch like this. Oh, so well, let's, I, see what the, let's see what the, this is, this is, oh, it's almost three inches, it's a little less. Come on, come no. on. No, oh. no, come on, push, push, no. push. Oh. It's okay, I will be a cameraman. <laughs> nice. I heard that the three inches is your specialty and I believe you had a world record or something on it. My PR was 110 pounds, which at the time would have been tied for the world record. Mm -hmm. I think recently it might have been broken again. Um, so I'm going to have to keep pushing towards that world record. But um, I had torn my, my ulnar collateral ligament. You can't really see there's chalk, but I have a scar here. I had to get my thumb reattached. That was something that happened in Ninja Warrior. So I was doing um, UFO. So for those of you that don't know, uh, yeah. like pretend, Do you have a video of this, no? I don't, unfortunately. So pretend like this is hanging and I had a lache and catch the disc. And when I caught the disc, I caught it like this yeah. on the front and mm -hmm. it went down like this and snapped my thumb backwards. It literally just severed the ulnar collateral ligament. I had to get it reconstructed and put back on. You know what's interesting? I broke my uh, my right thumb. It is exactly the same way. Oh yeah? Exactly the same just... way. I think my right hand is, is back and I'm gonna start getting ready to go take down this world record, so. Okay, okay. Oh, nice, dude. Ugh. That's a clean leaf. When you start getting into these like little details, adding the weight mm -hmm. and grip sport, you have to be like, it's the smallest detail. Like, do I have enough chalk in that one spot? Is my hand perfectly positioned? Like every single time you have to focus on that. It's very hard to relate through the camera and through the screen how actually hard it is. <sighs> oh. oh, that's it. Use it or lose it, right? I think that's that's probably going to be it. It does take a while to come back. Yeah, my point is like it's uh, very hard to understand how heavy it is. Uh, like 20 pounds lighter than actual world PR. Yeah, so, so every pound after that is like it's a month of work. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. You want to have the right tools, first of all, the right warm up. And then once you have those things in place, it's just going to be creating the appropriate amount of reps and sets for your workout routine, you have to put in the effort. If you're not doing it on that same schedule regularly, you're not gonna be able to perform at that level you wanna to do to get that raw power and that effort. In this scenario, we were going for that max, but if you're going for a regular workout, 
you know, you want to try to get those repetitions in and like, it's okay. Like right now we were just doing one individual lift and then putting it back down. If I was going for like, to really build the grip, I'd be doing literally just up, down, up, down without letting it touch the ground. Same thing. Like if I was doing like, you know, a bench press, I'm not just going to re-rack the, the, the weights and then put it and then do mm -hmm. a re rack the weights. I'm going to continue to keep the muscle under tension or the tendons under tension to get the maximum out of my fingers and in my forearms. Cool. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you for letting me be in your cave for this uh, impressive. If you want to see some unique grip strength tools, um, stay tuned. <laughs>